welcome you all to my youtube channel never ever so today i am going to take a new video to you that is about h index and i10 index which are used to evaluate the research performance of academics and researchers okay before everything i would like to take you to google scholar database and i will show there what is the recording of uh, publication or the research findings in the google scholar and what is meant by the citations you can go to google so then just type google scholar then it will come here in a given field then I have Google Scholar account so I'll go to my profile so here you can see my research publications here you can see and here you will see the number of citations for this one it has four for these two they have one in each here I have all, all together six citations, four, five, six, and my H index is one still. And if you prefer to find somebody's uh, H index, you just uh, type that researcher's name here. Let's say Cheng, whatever. There are so many suggestions. I will click this. So. Cheng Yang so there are so many so I'll click this so now you can see what are the research studies that Yan Cheng has done so those are recorded here here the number of citations that he has taken for his research studies altogether he has 14,833 citations for his research papers his H index is 56 10 I index is 121 now I am going to talk about how these values are counted okay now I will take one example from Google Scholar to explain what is the H index so this particular researcher has 3416 citations his H index is 25 his 10 I index is 30 so here you can see all of his research publications are ordered from the highest number of citations to the lowest number of citations here for this publication he has 408 citations and the last publication he has only three citations so all of these research publications are ordered from the highest number of publications sorry highest number of citations to the lowest number of citations likewise he may he has number of publications so i wrote only up to 26 uh, let's go to the first publication which is ranked based on the number of citations for to evaluate the H index we have to follow this method so so once we first rank the num rank all the publications from the highest number of citations to the lowest the highest number of citations the publication which has taken the highest number of citations is the first publication 
the next one is the second likewise third fourth and fifth likewise so it will go up to the least number of citations so now we have to see only this number and the number of citations now we have to see which value is large and which value is the small so here the number of citations is greater than number one number of citations 322 is greater than the number two number of citations 312 312 is greater than the number three okay now what you can see here is here the paper number is 26 the 26th publication a multi-step strategy has only 21 citations so this 21 is less than this 26 so you have to put this mark right this 26 is greater than the number 21 or the number of citations 21 for this particular publication so here we call this as the cutoff this is the point where you see the cutoff Cut off. So then the H index of this researcher is 25. His H index is 25. So what you have to understand is this researcher has at least 25 research papers which have been cited at least 25 times at least 25 times so this researchers H index is 25 right so you can see here the H index is 25 okay now we will see what is I10 index I10 index means the number of papers or number of publications that have been cited at least 10 times at least 10 times so here one two here if you come to here 26 27 28 uh, 29 30 okay here this paper has not been cited by at least 10 times so this researcher has 30 research papers that have been cited at least 10 times here you can see the I10 index is 30 so it is very simple okay, now I want to explain what are the weaknesses of this H index or the Hirsch index 
the first weakness is it is not intended for a specific time frame or the time period because some are young researchers some are senior researchers so senior researchers are doing research for a long period of time they have been doing researchers for a long period of time but others they have started their research career very recently so H index does not uh, talk about the the time you started your research career so the next one is it is uh, insensitive to the publications that are rarely cited and that are frequently cited let's say sometimes one researcher may have high number of citations for a particular paper but all the other research papers may have very little number of citations so due to that he may have uh, less h index than the other researchers so so we we, we cannot compare the researchers in different fields using their h index because the we don't know uh, from which community the citations are coming to that particular publications of those researchers so we actually we cannot use the h index to compare people each index can uh, vary among the resources depending on the publication data so it is calculated by the uh, databases so the database takes the available data to calculate the h index if you do not publish our research papers online so they will not be taken into the calculation of h index okay we will talk about this paradoxical situation so he is a young researcher and he is a senior researcher so all these two researchers have six publications so you can see here one to six so for the young researcher his publication one two three four five six so the first publication he has 10 citations and all the other publications are having lesser number so what is his h index now so we can calculate now so here the number is greater here the number is less so his h index is 5 so what about the senior researcher so the first publication he has 950 citations here 600 here 100 so he has very high amount of citations so but he has very little number of citations for his uh, publication number 4 5 and 6 so what about his uh, h index it is also 5 so then how do we compare these two researchers and their knowledge skills and everything based on the h index of these two researchers so we cannot compare the people using the h index so this h index is sensitive to the number of publications as well as the number of citations number of publications means the quantity of the publications and the number of citations means the quality of your publications so if you improve your quality of your publications you will get more citations and it requires some time to get more citations but young researchers will get less number of citations even though they have good quality research papers because to come citations it takes some time